It's time for a Devo tip on Scripture is not enough. What? What's this Devo tip all about? Well, many of Jesus' parables begin with, the kingdom of God is like. But the disciples, they were confused by them. They asked Jesus, why do you speak in parables in Matthew chapter 13? They suggest that he might be more successful if he would speak plainly and just lay out his main point. But to their surprise, the reason Jesus says he teaches with parables is so that people will see, but not see, hear, but not hear. Why does Jesus say that? Aren't teachers supposed to be clear? Jesus' goal is not to confuse people, of course, but to get people to come to the source of life, to God himself, of course. You see, parables are not nice little bedtime stories, nor do they provide cool spiritual truths to apply to our lives. No, every parable is an invitation to join a revolution that thrives on sacrificial love, mercy, humility, truth, and justice. In the parable of the sower, God is secretly planting seeds for this subversive movement. Jesus calls the seeds the word of the kingdom. Seeds of God's kingdom are being planted and are growing, even if its growth may, remains hidden to the world. Now some receive the word gladly as soon as they hear it, but notice, it does not sink deep into them and they don't last long. So when trouble or persecution comes because of the message, they give up at once. Uh-oh. Why didn't the word sink deeply into them? What does it mean for scripture to sink deeply into you? Well, when you pass through suffering, you realize something very special. You realize that it is not enough to have scripture. What do I mean by that? Well, Richard Warmbrown, who suffered greatly because of his faith, he was thrown into a Romanian prison for 14 years. He explains it this way. When you pass through suffering, you realize that it was never meant by God that, for example, Psalm 23 should strengthen you. What? He says, no. He's not minimizing the word, but he's saying something very important. He says, it is the Lord who can strengthen you, not the psalm, which speaks of him. So doing, he says it's not enough to just have the psalm alone. You must have the one about whom the psalm speaks. He goes on to say, that everything, everything depends on whether we have remained in the sphere of words or if we have merged with the divine realities of God himself. Join the revolution, my friends.